don't care what they bang, I'm ripping Loomis gang. I don't care what they bang, I'm ripping Loomis gang. I don't care what they bang, I'm ripping Loomis gang. I rip a micro for a third and full frame. Big cook coming through S5 Mark II. I was laying back on the couch the other day, kind of in a filmmaker slump. So, I got up and thought to myself, why not book a trip? Ew, Android. What? Some filmmakers use Android. Get over it. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, I hopped on Expedia and booked me a trip to Bali. Then I went to Airbnb and rented out a great villa for my stay. I booked me a flight that was leaving later on that evening. So, I packed my gear. You know I'm Loomis gang. Loomis gang. And I was off to Bali. The land where great stories are told. And beautiful travel videos are filmed. See you guys in Bali. Yeah, fucking right. The way my finances and life set up, I can't just up and leave when I want to. One day it'll be my reality. Just not today though. But the good thing is, I don't have to travel across the world to tell a story. <sighs> because stories are everywhere, 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 everywhere. Now I know some of y'all gonna be like Big Cook. But I live in a small town. It ain't nothing to film in my little small town. And you feeling like shit because your favorite content creator is filming amazing shit at hell of a destinations. But fuck it, you not there yet. But that doesn't mean that you don't have worthwhile stories to tell wherever the fuck you at. I mean, I live in little ass Huntersville. Population 63,035. And I bet if I ride around, I can find a story to tell. Let's put that to the test. that y'all notice what I noticed within 10 minutes of driving around Huntersville. It's a lot of construction. Construction everywhere. Construction, construction, construction. That, that could be a story. What's, what's the steps of construction? First you gotta clear the land, tear down all the trees, for uh, trees, nature, nature. So in order to build something that's convenient for man, you have to destroy something in nature. That's what we're gonna call it, construction. 
the killer of nature. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. What's a type of music that you listen to that you don't think nobody else from your group, whether that's friends, racially, or whatever, listen to? I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. This, this is something that I like to listen to, type of music I love to listen to when I'm driving in the car. <laughs> So I'm here at the laptop, about to come up with a treatment for the video. And let's see how this goes. Got it. I think that this video will be about the beauty of nature and the destruction of that beauty known as construction. So I think that I'll try to shoot similar scenes from nature and construction to give you the viewer of full understanding. Yeah, that's how I rock it. Can you hear me at the back? Take that. Can you hear me at the back? Can you hear me at the back? Now let me find some music that has the feel that I'm looking for because I'll probably listen to this music while I'm shooting so I can get the flow of the shots and put it together while I'm listening. Kind of like making a song, writing a rap or something, but visually. And oh yeah, this is who I've been getting my music from lately. Uh, I've been getting it from Universal Music for Creators. This ain't a sponsored video by my nothing, but this is just who I've been using. You know, they got some pretty decent music and it's only $10 a month. So, you know, if y'all looking for something, man, check that out. Like I said, it's not sponsored. I just happened to stumble across it myself and gave them a go. And I like some of that music. So that's how I'm rocking. Now, I know y'all remember from my last video, y'all know I used to draw my shot list in this book right here. And it was a pretty cool book for what it is. But since then... I have switched to drawing them in my trusty Apple iPad M1. And I just like to draw on it because, you know, you got the shot list. Let me turn this down a little bit for y'all, but uh oh, wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I'm rocking. So I'm about to get into this, draw this shot list, and let me drop this down because I don't want to have tech neck. And I'll get back with y'all later. So yeah. Take what my shot list look like. Let me turn it down again. This is what my shot list look like. And I know it ain't no award winning shots, but as long as I can understand what the shots mean, that's all that matter because I'm not sending them off to nobody. And I like to make shot lists, even though they more time consuming, I like to make them because if I draw a shot list, I'm more inclined to follow through with the video. So I try to make sure I do that. So with that shot list finished, we're good to go on to the next thing. going on youtube big cook back at y'all i hope y'all enjoyed part one of the video part two coming soon so make sure y'all stick around make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all show you boys some love on the channel because i'm coming with a lot more content all right with that being said remember keep learning keep shooting and above all keep having fun with this camera ish big cook i love y'all i mean that gone boom it's game